Okay, so at this moment, we'll continue our discussion on the calculator te techniques. So, we'll have our calculator. We are using the 570 ES Plus calculator. So, it is emulated on our uh, computer. So, at this point, we will be uh, we will be tackling about a technique which is called the ship salt. Okay? Just first write that one. Okay. The ship Okay. The ship salt function. Okay? So, how we will use the ship salt? Well, for example, if we have a problem so or a formula okay so for example ohm's law so ohm's law so you are trying to get the current of a of a certain system given the resistance and the voltage you will, you will be using the formula i is equal to v over r that formula so we just write first the R. Okay. That formula. Now, you could um, say substitute the given. For example, our um, our V is equal to 200 volts. So our V is equal to 200 volts. So I am using a new input device for my mouse here and I am getting used to that matter so R our R is equal to example 10 ohms okay so we could um, use this one this given and we could directly substitute that to our formula so that would be your I is equal to 200 so you have okay so there's something wrong with our input device so you have 200 so you will have 200 volts over 10 ohms okay so you could directly get your calculator then just type the given 200 over 10 and you will have 20 amperes so that will be your answer so 20 amperes so the ship solve function we could um input directly the the this one the formula the formula after substituting but we need to change the variable for our current di into x so we will input in our calculator uh, x is equal to uh, 200 over 10 okay, so let's do that in the calculator so we have alpha x then you have alpha equals fraction to 200 over 10 and you will end up with okay. then you have this one now so you will now use the sheep solve function so that why is it called shift solve? Because you will use the second function shift, then solve this one. So shift solve, then uh, put zero, then equals. And your x is equal to 20. So x is equal to 20 amperes. Which is also your i. So that is how the ship solve function is used. Okay, so we will have more examples. So let's just have the notes here. So we will add text. Okay, so let's just first 
move our virtual whiteboard okay so let's move that one up let's add a text okay so maybe we could drag this one here okay we cannot drag her text okay so let's add domain a text maybe we could drag this one somewhere i'll just type it first so Okay, so we have this problem so we need to calculate the we need to calculate the capacitance of a capacitor having a reactance of 80 ohms at 60 hertz so maybe we'll just drag it a little bit here to give way for our calculator so solution have our pen light blue so we have solution okay so we need to find for the capacitance of the capacitor so the reactance is 80 ohms at 60 hertz so we just first write the given so our given so we have the reactance let's see is, e is equal to 80 ohms okay so it's then our frequency f this is equal to 60 hertz okay so we need to find the capacitance or our C so the required is the C okay so going back to the discussion about um, reactance so we know that the XC that is the capacitive reactance so that is equal to XC Xc is equal to right here first hour. This will be one over two pi f c. Okay. So if we are going to solve for c, so we could uh, use algebra for this and uh, the um, al algebraic manipulation. So we could have this one as c is equal to 1 over 2 pi f x c okay so it's just uh, write first the c level with the equal sign okay then we could substitute the directly the given to our formula so we have 2 pi then we have the frequency is 60 hertz okay so 60 hertz times the capacitive reactance of 80 ohms okay so we just put the one in the center Okay, so then we will use our calculator. So this is not using the ship solve method. So 2 pi times 60 times 80. So you will have, uh, let's have the in function. So that is because of 33.16. So you will have 33. 
point sixteen. There's something wrong again with our info device. So thirty three. Point sixteen micro, so that is is it ten to the power of negative nine? And no, negative six, so that is still micro. So thirty six, thirty three point sixteen micro farad. Okay, so that will be our answer. Not using the ship solve. Okay, now we will use the ship solve. So we will. We write our equation so that this one will be so that this one so we will be um, we will be using this formula so that our our uh, required the capacitance we will change the variable into x okay so let's first move our screen upward okay so we will write that one so we will substitute all the given so our xc is 80 so 80 so just neglect neglect the unit so we will have this one so we have one over so 2 pi so 2 pi our frequency is equal to 60 then we will have our um, our capacitance this one be required as our x okay now we will input this one into our calculator okay so we have 80 equals 1 over 2 shift pi times 60 times x so shift solve 0 equals so we have 33 a three point three one five seven two nine times to the power of negative six or we could have that one we could store that one here or we could have answer so that is the answer then in so that is still equal so our x is equal to thirty three point sixteen micro and you still have the same answer so that is how ship solve technique is used in answering the problems okay